Praise the Lord, everybody. I just want to come on for a few minutes today to talk to you about leaving the 99 to go after the one that is lost. Our scripture reference is coming from Luke 15, 4 through 7, and I will read it for your healing. When a man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice! Oh my God, rejoice with me! For I have found my sheep, which was lost. Amen. In these particular scriptures, it gives reference to a parable where a shepherd loses one of his sheep. And although he still has 99, he leaves the 99 to go after the one lost sheep. You see, to him, that one sheep is just as important as the others. To be among the 99 sheep lets the shepherd know the sheep are pretty secure. But because there are so many sheep, he feels like they will be okay for a minute until he comes back after finding the lost one. However, the one that is out of the fold is vulnerable and needs protection. And isn't that just like God to go after that one person who has strayed or to seek out the one who is far from him? Isn't that just like God to love on us so much that he runs after you to bring you back. God loves you so much that to lose you would hurt him. He keeps track of you. He does not ever want to lose you. When the shepherd finds the one that is lost, he rejoices and tells his friends and neighbors, rejoice with me. <laughs> hallelujah, I have found my lost sheep. This is exactly, oh, hallelujah, the way God feels about you. He rejoices when you are found. He wants you near him, near his heart. Uh, he wants the lost to be saved and close to him. He wants to lead you and guide you, and he loves you so much. He is sad when you are far from him or not in his fold. It's not his will for you to perish, but to always hold you close so the enemy can't snatch you. We are all sinners saved by grace. And I thank God that he loves me enough to pull me back when I go astray. And trust me, we all go astray. So thank God that he searches out the lost so that they can receive salvation. He laid down his life for the one who is not saved or the ones who are not saved. Come to Jesus. Mm, he loves you and you can receive everlasting life. Amen. So with that being said, just know that God loves you and that I love you. And if you need prayer, just let me know and I'll talk with you later. Okay, bye.